So anyway, in case Big Brother's watching, I did not move all my stuff here. I, first of all, I didn't like go on a Craigslist to find just anybody, and I didn't pay a lot. It was one of those things where my mom was able to find a non-professional with the daughter of her friend, and they got a friend and got a truck, and you know what I mean? And they split, and I only paid a hundred. So it made sense for me instead of paying seventy-nine for my monthly storage, since I already had some stuff here, including the most important thing, which is my computer. It made sense to have my stuff here. Okay. Um, it just made sense to pay twenty-one dollars extra, and then when I do move out. All my stuff is in one spot instead of two different spots, okay? In case Big Brother's watching, it's not that I brought my stuff here, you know, because I'm going to insist on staying and whatnot. I'm damn well aware of the fact that, that even if my mom wants me to stay, you know, if, it's to, if I can't stay, I can't stay, okay? And remember what was discussed when my mom was in the mental hospital. I told you guys all about that, you know. It was later discussed again, which I wouldn't accept that, you know. And the exact amount I told you guys in another video a long time ago, months ago, um, because Auntie had even said that to my mom's friend, the church friend, who had said, "I know she's like, she's like, you would never do that. You wouldn't take that kind of money from your mom, right?" They were talking about almost two hundred dollars paying towards my rent, you know, so I could pay more, get a better place or whatnot. And I was like, I would never do that. Okay. But in light of that I shouldn't have to pay rent living here. Though so that don't cost my mom anything. You know what I mean? She wouldn't I'm companionship, I help her out a lot, I cook, I clean and I'm not, I would not stay here and pay, pay rent under the circumstances where I'm pretty much, I'm on disability and destitute and she doesn't want me to pay rent, you know. So if I had to pay rent, I would just like, fuck the hell, leave. Because it's, it's an unsell that's not acknowledged in all the things I do for my mom. Okay. And there are people who live with other people and don't pay rent, but, but in lieu of paying rent, help out in, in other ways, you know. Um. And that's above and beyond the fact I'm her, ch I'm her daughter, you know, I'm her, I'm her kid, or whatever, you know. And she would never want me to pay rent. I know that for a fact. She doesn't want to make money off of me. If she had a way, I would live here with her forever, but, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm definitely going to be here for the next two months. You know, and I would have never accepted that thing, you know, I wouldn't do it. It's not something I would trust, I could rely, you know what I mean, I just wouldn't want to do it, period. I don't want to do that. I want to eventually be self-sufficient again, I, so I'm not going to accept, I'm not going to take a place above my means and be counting on, you know, Mama to help pay the money, rent every month. I don't want to do that. And I made it perfectly clear, not just to my mom, I don't want to do that. But staying here, um, again, everything's up in the air right now. You know, but I'm definitely going to be here for two months. I just wanted you guys to care about me to know my mom wants me here. She would love to have me here. She made a point of telling Auntie all the things that I, I do for my mom. Because I do. And the number one thing I do is I, I she, she likes having someone here. She likes, a, you know, it's companionship, you know. And way better than a stranger. You never know, you can have a lot of problems with a stranger. Believe me, my mom, and I'm going to make this perfectly clear to the universe. 
my mom would much because my mom doesn't give a shit. Think about her age. Think about you know what I mean. She, she, I just a give a shit. She would much rather have me here than, have, than be making money off of a stranger living here. And I know that because that's how my mother is. And she's not doing it for me. She's doing it for herself. She likes having me here. Does that mean that I could stay here? No. Does that mean I'm going to stay here? No. But I sure as fuck have a right to make it perfectly clear how my mother feels. And she and I have been getting along fine. But my stuff wouldn't be here right now. She was she arranged it. She was able to do it. I put it out there, you know. When I do move out it's better to have my stuff in, in you know, in, in one spot than two. And I wanted my stuff with me too, you know. I had things I had to search for. Something ahead of hers that got mixed up with my stuff when I was putting everything, you know, I back in storage and whatnot and something she wants I need to find and it's a little card thing and it'd be a hell of a lot easier to find it in the privacy of my bedroom nice and warm than sitting on the dirty floor of my storage unit you know or in the hall part of my storage unit dirty floor whatever and try to f go through every box so $21 get yes but you gotta understand people or anyone who who, you know, like I said, Big Brother's watching and thinks, oh, she just got her stuff there because she's going to force her mom to make her have her... No, it's not like that. If I did wind up staying, it would be me or Chilona because my mother wanted me here. Not because I was insisting. Especially after this horrible winter we've had. I mean, I'm definitely staying the next two full months. reason I missed the best storage because my mom was able to find someone who did it. You know? Cheap. Not a stranger. And, you know. If I had called that other guy before, that would have that would have cost me the same as before. It's 125. Plus, I didn't like how he he was very nonchalant about some of my stuff. You know, you don't throw my stuff. That's clear. You have to be careful. I'm paying you. You know, he was he was a little little, you know careless is the word. With with stuff that like say this. This is glass. Or my blender. He was careless with my fifty dollar blender. I have a nice Osco something, Osco, whatever it is, oh it's a nice blender I bought. That that chops up ice and one it's a nice one. And I mean not super expensive, but still it wasn't like twenty bucks. It was double the price of the one my mom got at Ocean State, you know. And I can tell the difference of what the kind of blender I was using at Bobby's compared to this one I've been using here, okay? It wouldn't even chop up the damn frozen strawberry fruit that I was making my mom and I survey stuff last night. You know, my blender would. Any blender that has an ice crushing ability would do that easily. So. It's the same brand, it's just a cheaper blender. She got hers at Ocean State. I helped her pick it out for like 25, and I got this one for 50 something at Walmart when I was on the pop. I could tell the difference. You know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, when I watched him, and I didn't say anything, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm not going to want to hire you again. You're, you're being careless. This was in the summer, and he's a big guy, and he was sweating, and, and it's not my problem. You know? And he pissed me off because he was trying to rush. And then I said, we're not even near the two-hour mark yet. And he's like, oh, well, when I calculate that, I made a mistake. I should have charged you more. Oh, go fuck yourself, you know. 
I asked you more than once. I verified. You know me. I'm anal, people. I said, so it's going to be 125 for two hours, right? But it was a, it was a 125, um, I think it was a 125 flat. It was one, he was going to do it. Well, he'd calculated how long it would take. It was 125 flat rate because that was help. Okay. We hadn't even reached our two-hour mark. Remember, I helped just did as much as he did. I could lift almost anything except for the, the heavier. There were just a few heavy boxes that I couldn't lift. That was it. I did just as much work. Okay. And then he was like, oh, when I was... That pissed me off, too. Two things. He was careless. I watched him. I'm like, jeez. He's a mover, and he's going to just throw around something that's, you know, because he was pissed because it was sweating, and he's big, and he was sweating with storm. And I have watched, and I'm not exaggerating. And fuck you. And then I said, when he's, like, rushing, and, you know, we're almost getting, I'm like, um, because remember, that, in, that included the time it was supposed to be, or whatever it's supposed to be is what he had calculated that it would be, and we were trying to, you know, be, be that. It wasn't that it went o if it went over, we had to pay more. It was a flat rate. And then he's like, oh, then he goes, when I, when I calculated, I should have charged you more. Yeah, well, you didn't, and I verified. Because I set you up ahead of time. I called again, and it's going to be this, right? He's like, yeah. Don't give me your fucking shit, okay? So I, didn't, I wasn't going to call him again. I liked that I got some clothes from him, not for me, but I gave him to charity. That he, someone had left over in his truck, and he had tried to reach them, and it was, he does, he, it was a boyfriend-girlfriend thing that they'd broken up fast and moved fast or whatnot, I don't know, but she was moving out, and in any case, he asked me, do you want this whole box of clothes? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll give them to, I, he knew I stayed at this shelter, you know, I said, I said, yeah, I'll give them to charity, and I did, I, I took the time to do that, and I was a pain in the ass taking big bags of clothes. It was more than one trip on the bus to get him to a place, you know, to a church or something, that would, or whatever, one of those bins, wherever I took it to, to give them to charity, you know. Better than they go to waste. He probably just would have thrown them out. He tried to reach the owner. The owner didn't care. That's it. He's not responsible for the